If you touch the start menu, the little topaz picture in the top right corner, you'll get another menu that will come down. We're going to go all the way to the bottom and talk about the set menu. A little picture of the kind of pliers and screwdriver, the little tools here. Okay, so when we go in here, if we're on the sewing side, it'll take us into the sewing settings. Let's go ahead and talk about these, but we'll go ahead and roll across all the different ones. Sewing settings, first one, twin needle. When we do twin needle, we can touch it and actually tell the machine what size of twin needle we are using. When we do that and return out of here with the green check mark, notice that your stitches will actually be shown in the twin needle size that you told it that you had, which is kind of cool because you can see different stitches before you actually select them and how they're going to look. Let's just for fun, let's just pick this stitch. See how it's kind of doubled up? It's not what you would have expected, but if you sewed it out, that's what you would get. Here, look at that one. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of fun stuff. So let's just go back up to the start menu, go down to the set menu, and we'll turn the twin needle off. The nice thing that you get when you go in, when you do anything in the set menu is that it is remembered when the machine is turned off. So if I had left the twin needle setting on and we stop sewing today, we turn the machine off, Tomorrow, when I turn the machine on, I would get a little pop-up message immediately that the twin needle setting was still engaged. Stitch width safety. This is something that if you have a straight stitch throat plate, like this one, you can. this has it where the needle can only go in and out of that single hole. This is great for embroidery, for free motion quilting, and even for piecing your blocks together, you will find that you'll have more accurate stitches as you go up and over seams. They'll all come together better. But you better tell the machine you've put this plate on so you don't accidentally pick a zigzag and then break a needle because you, well, went outside the hole. So set the machine for stitch width safety and again, the machine will have a little pop-up message when you turn the machine on that this is still selected in here. Selective thread cutter auto for sewing. This will be, there's a couple stitches like the buttonhole and a few other ones that will cut the thread automatically after it sews it. I think the, um, the eyelet does that as well. So if you don't want that to actually be the case, you can turn that off. Sensor presser foot lift. This is where it automatically lifts the foot for you. That also is on. Fix auto, that's the locking stitch that happens at the beginning of your seam after you've used the selective thread cutter. If you don't want that locking stitch to happen, you can uncheck that box. All right, let's just back up a little bit in the little zigzag tab at the top, stitch settings. You can manually override the machine and adjust the pressure of the foot so it can go up or down as needed. On the machine settings, these probably you're going to just leave, but let's talk through it. Language, your choice. I think there's like 10 languages in this machine. Auto repeat. So if a little message comes up, it will repeat that message with a little, um, with a little sound. I leave it off because I don't want it to keep beeping at me. A lock screen. If you don't want people to touch the screen or change anything, you can lock it down so it isn't um, changed. And touch screen adjust. Of all these, I probably use this one more than any of them. Touch screen adjust means, let's go ahead and do it. On occasion, your touch screen, when you start touching it, it will not touch or activate where you push. Maybe you get the stitch next to it. And the two touch screens have kind of offset themselves. This is how you can fix it yourself without having to have it brought into your technician. It says touch the center of each crosshair appearing on the screen. Use the stylus to get an exact calibration. So I'm gonna just go ahead, of course, kind of off to the side here. Here we go, touch and touch and touch, and touch. All right, one last time. Now the screen is completely calibrated for that particular, back to where it was. So if you ever get off or if you're having trouble pushing something, just calibrate the screen. Okay, coming back, we had stitch settings, we had sewing settings. The last one, embroidery settings. Also too, where you can turn off the selective thread cutter for embroidery. There is a time we do that. I do like to do it when I'm doing a lot of small lettering so it doesn't look as messy on the back, but oftentimes I'll leave it for the majority of my projects. 
oh nope that's actually for the auto jump stitch trim but if you don't want it to cut for automatically at the at the beginning of embroidery that's where you'll turn it off both of them are kind of separate and you can see which one you want so in between lettering the second one here is what I would turn off just remember turn it back on hoop selection this is where you can check off the hoops that you own like for example the hoop that comes with this machine is the 240 by 150 and if you've bought any other hoops my other favorite 120 by 120 and the 150 by 150 150 by 150 is a six by six hoop and the other one down here is just a hair less than five by five nice additional hoops to add to your collection don't waste as much stabilizer but by checking them off in the set menu here then the machine will only recommend those three hoops and it won't pick these other sizes as hey this is the hoop that your design fits in and I'm like no I don't own that hoop yet so that is where you can go in and set that we'll come back to this in a little bit just remember when you buy additional hoops you need to come in and check them off the list so the machine will recognize that you own it you can't just put it on it won't recognize them so in here things that you do are kept and while the machine is turned off and when you're done just touch the green check mark to get out of it so we were in the start menu and down here in the set menu